Good morning, fellow Patagonians. It's your boy, Mario Fama, Erere, a.k.a. Yo soy blanco, pero no soy banco. And I just finished one of my uh, morning drives from Santo Domingo to Punta Cana like I do every week. And I'm going to share a couple of driving tips with you guys because of all the fun stuff that I see all the time and that I saw today, as usual. Tip one, your right lane is a passing lane. You do not want to be in the right lane. Why? Many, many times, trucks, cars, whatever, they stop on the shoulder, but they're partially into your lane. Other times, like right now, when I was driving and right by Boca Chica, before the Boca Chica Elevado, there was just a truck there, a camioncito, just pipes and stuff like that, just stopped in the right lane. And as you guys know, there's always a truck or something big in front of you. You might just be thinking you're just going to switch lanes. And next thing you know, I know people that passed away like that. Use the right lane as a passing lane. Try to stay in the left lane. In the left lane, you have to be careful of wherever people have U-turns because very few U-turns are actually used in this country. It's more like a hard left. So somebody will dead stop on the highway to make a left to make a U-turn on the highway and you've got to be prepared for the person to make a full stop. Second of all, if you're passing somebody and you're at a higher rate of speed than they are, because it's not uncommon to have somebody doing 20 to 30 miles an hour on an open highway, you got to hit your horn because they don't see you. People here don't really stay in their lane. I know you guys have seen that if you've driven here, they're always floating in and out of the lane and you've got to honk as you're passing them to minimize the risk of them crashing into you. Uh, when you're going into Santo Domingo, be careful in Las Americas because on that right shoulder, they always have well conchos, motorcycles, camiones, even the big optera buses that are into city. They just stop right there and they're in your lane. It happened to me that I almost ended up dying because I was behind a truck and I'm thinking I'm going into the right lane and there's a big bus just stopped there halfway into my lane. Again, I know people that passed away like that. Be very, very careful with that right lane. Here, the right lane, it's a stopping lane, it's a parking lane, it's a half into the lane, it's anything and everything. Another thing is if you're going to drive a motorcycle, please, for the love of baby Jesus, wear a helmet. You're talking to a motorcycle accident survivor. I had an HJC motorcycle helmet in New York City. I got hit head on by somebody making a U-turn. The only reason I'm here talking to you right now or not in a bed with brain damage is because I had that helmet and you, the helmet was like on the side right here. I got tossed over to the sidewalk really, really bad. On my way here right now, after Playa Nueva Romana, there was a guy laid out, a whole bunch of people there. His head was right on the floor. Hopefully he made it, but this is normal. People here don't believe in self-preservation and it's like kids that don't want to eat their broccoli. These people refuse to put a helmet on most of them. You'll see them drive around with the helmet on their handlebars or whatever and that's the reason why we have such a high fatality rate the majority of those accidents can be avoided or deaths sorry not accidents obviously can be avoided here as well but deaths can be avoided if people just wore a helmet but they don't and then you will see also on the highway a guy in a little 50 to 150 cc <laughs> and you're coming from behind a truck doing 40, 50, 60 miles an hour, and this guy's doing 20, 25, 30 miles an hour on the little thing like that, and that's why they get swiped out all the time, and they get hit, and well, you see them like I saw him on the side of the road, unfortunately, right now. So prepare yourself for that. Look for debris on the roads. A guy right now, you see the video right here? I caught him when he was stopping. A tire blew out, we almost all, almost all crashed because it was like, like tire everywhere on the highway. And I keep driving, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna see the, the, the big rig on the side of the road because you can tell it was a, a big rig tri a, a tire. Nope, I caught him one to three kilometers down the road finally stopping because he realized he couldn't drive his car on an axle or whatever the hell it was. So be very, very careful driving. I'm not trying to scare you guys, but I want to prepare you. You know, we are number one in fatalities uh, on the road, and most of those are motorcycle, and most of those can be avoided. But there's a high rate of accidents here because of the way people drive. They don't really have the education, and they don't have the sense of self-preservation. So if they're not thinking about their own lives the way they drive, they're going to think about you even less. Now that you know, prepare yourself, be on point, and safe driving.